What up, what it do, cyber world? It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It, Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for your love, your support, your devotion, darlings. Yes, thank you so very much. All right, so I had a question on the Twitter. Oh, the Twitter now. Um, <laughs> so somebody asked me, why did I start blogging? And I appreciate that question. Quite interesting, quite interesting. All right, so I started blogging. Well, okay, initially, like as far as having a blog, I've had a blog previously before, and it was basically like my public diary. I changed up a few names here and there, maybe some geographical locations, but for the most part, I pretty much put it out there, and I had some really um, attentive readers and audiences that would start to um, talk back and forth with me and ask questions about things or commentate or things of that nature, so it was a very seemingly successful hobby. It was just for fun. And I did that when I was in school. And I just really hadn't had time to really do something like that again. I really didn't feel that devoted to doing it. I would blog maybe like once every two, three weeks. It was not something that was consistent. And my blog now on ashsetit.com is a lifestyle blog. So it's a mixture of events, products, and entertainment stuff. So you'll see anything from new entertainment shows from like own TV to events that's coming up in Atlanta like, I don't know, The Girls Night Out, Marietta GA, Studio Movie Girl. Go to ashcity.com for more details. So <laughs> I got things like that that's coming up and there's just so much. There's really just so much that's going on and initially starting the blog, I really kind of was already doing the research for it. And I have friends, I have acquaintances, people that I know all around the globe. And every time that they would be getting ready to go to Atlanta, they would email me or call me or whatever and talk, hey, we're going to be in Atlanta this weekend figure out some fun stuff for us to do. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll figure out some stuff for us to do. Yeah. And meanwhile, they look at me, you know, to an extent as like the go-to person, the person that knows what's going on in Atlanta and what's happening. And that could not be any further from the truth than it was because I really didn't know what was happening. I was working that job. I was trying to get that money up. That was pretty much it. And I was really just on that type of deal. So, as time would go on, and I would do this research for these friends of mine, and I would basically come up with a list of things to do, date, location, price, and I would email them back with all of the stuff that I found, and stuff that I think that they would be interested in, and that was pretty much what it was. And so, um, from there... As I started the blog, the blog really, I kind of was pushed into doing a blog. Like, I had no intention of starting a blog. I had no intention of blogging. I already had in my mind the idea of what I felt blogging was. And I really didn't want to jump off into that realm again. I didn't want to do it. But I kept going to events and people kept giving me free stuff. And then they were like, they were like, here, here's a... Here's a box full of free stuff, Ash. Here's a bag full of free stuff. Try the stuff out and then write about it. Tell us what you think. I was like, but I don't really want to write about nothing. And they kind of guilted me into actually starting my blog. I was like, well, I don't really have a blog. You know, because I don't want to be out front with it. I don't want to just take your items and then, you know, I just got some free stuff. Yeah. But <laughs> I wanted to be honest and upfront and I told them and they were like, you know, that's fine. Get a blog get something to where you're writing about this stuff. We want to get the word out. And I was like, okay, all right, well, okay. <laughs> all right, well, we'll start to talk about it, okay. And that's really how it started. So finding content that I felt that people would like was a challenge because 
when I started this blog, I didn't know exactly who I wanted to target. I didn't really know what exactly I wanted to post about. I didn't really know where I could pull valid sources from. So when it started and I had to find more and more content to pull, I started to do like basically just blogging about everything. Everything that would come in my, to my inbox that got blogged about. The description got put up about it. But then I had to really understand that this is a millennial blog because I am a millennial technically. I am a millennial. And the majority of people that are millennials in this day and time didn't necessarily care about some of the stuff that I was posting about. And didn't really fit the demographic of who I felt would be interested in certain things. So I had to figure out what my audience wanted and how to provide that. And so the same thing happened when I had to start to decipher out which events I was going to go to and which events I was not going to attend. Because so many people were inviting me to, to different events and I was going to everyone's event. Every time somebody invited me to something, I was going to their party. I was going to their event. I was at their fair, you know. But I learned quickly that you can't do that. And you will burn yourself out very, very easily in doing something like that. Because it is exhausting. It takes so much out of you. And lo and behold, we fast forward. Three years, darling. Going on to four. And it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. And I've fallen more times than I can recall. And I've gotten up every time and tried a different strategy, tried a different way of going about it, tried a different way of this, a different way of that. And that's really what it comes down to. You have to figure out what works for you. You have to. There's no other way around it. So I say to you today, find what really lights a fire deep within and write about that. Don't write about stuff that you're not interested in. Like me, I have a green thumb sometimes. <laughs> it's not a real, it's not a, it's not a year round thing. It's kind of like, you know, every blue moon, I might want to plant something and then I might want to do something else. And, you know, I may want to, you know, have my, this going or that going. So I am not consistent with planting and growing and all that stuff. My grandmother, Grandma Lou, she loved that stuff. She was out in the garden like 24-7, 365. She did not play that stuff with us. And um, I don't necessarily have that. So it wouldn't make sense for me to write about plants and growing stuff if I'm not well-versed in it. Now, what I am well-versed in is social media, events, ways of making your life better ways of motivating yourself. I'm good at that. So maybe I'll talk about that. Maybe that's what what I'm going to talk about. And you just got to kind of move it from there. So there's no surefire way. Don't let people think that, oh, you've got to buy into the, the idea of this and you've got to buy into the idea of that. No, everyone's trying to sell something. Everyone is trying to sell something. Yours truly included. It's just what value does that information have to your life? How valid is that information going to be in 10 years? Think about that for chance. So, I love you out to pieces. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do? You look them square in the face, tell them, don't believe me. Just watch, baby. Watch it. Watch me do what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces. Did you know that some foods can cause weight gain, body aches, and extreme fatigue? These are just some of the symptoms of food intolerance. Well, what is food intolerance? Food intolerance can occur when the body cannot properly digest certain foods. This can result in acid reflux, migraines, and so many other painful issues. How do you find out what foods are causing this irritation? It's easy. Pinner Test. With half a million satisfied clients worldwide, Pinner Test is the number one way of identifying foods that may be causing discomfort. This simple at-home kit is easy to use with results usually within two weeks via email. It's that simple, all right? What are you waiting for? Go visit pinnertest.com and use my special promo code, AshSetIt, for your discount today.